What up, Bass Family? This is your boy Ray J coming at you with another Basement Boy Productions from the studio of my pop's house. About to do a lesson, all inclusive lesson, extensive, comprehensive, whatever you want to call it, on subdivisions, in particular, 16th note. So we're going to tackle that, talk to you about that, give you some uh, things that you can do with that. Let's go to the throne, Grace. In the name of your shine, we ask you to forgive us for all of our sins, continue to cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for another day in the land of the living. Thank you for life, health, and strength, and just another day to get it right. Heavenly Father, as we go into this lesson, help me to speak and teach with clarity. Help the viewers to understand with clarity, Heavenly Father. And as we word and plant, continue to give the increase in our skills, talents, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding for the base. Heavenly Father, in all things, you'll get all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. For it is in your son, your shy's name we pray. Amen. Good. So I got a minute to talk, then I'm going to the lesson. So I want to do a lesson uh, on, like I said, on 16th notes. All right. Just going to talk to you with what it is and how, how you can uh, hear it. And I'm going to also give you a lick, a four-part lick. Well, it's not four parts. I'm going to break one long lick down into four different parts so that you can be able to use it so you can understand the difference be between hear and understand of, you know, when you hear long licks compared to short licks, if there's like 16 notes or not. So I'm really testing myself because I don't want to confuse anyone and I just want to give a clear lesson. So, of course, if there's any confusion, Comment, 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 and I'll respond. And disclaimer, this lesson is going to, you know, this is like the the fast lane, like, you know, getting your master's degree in six months. This is going to be an accelerated lesson. And all I mean by that is I'm going to start at the foundation. So if you're a beginner, you can understand. But I'm going to be moving uh, very quickly to that intermediate phase to get to the lick. So if, again, if anything is unclear, always uh, let me know and I'm gonna try to, my best to make sure I, you know, speak clear and with clarity so that you can understand. So here we go, all right, that's good. So when you talk about a 16th note, let's first, before we even talk about that, let's just talk about just simple uh, music and, uh, and tempo and, and all of that. Most of the, the time signatures in this lesson is not going to be about time signatures. We're just going to use the time signature 4-4. Four, four. And if you don't know that, that just means it's uh, four beats per measure and every beat uh, gets one hit. So when you hear one, two, three, four, that represents a hit. When you hear the, uh, the drummer, so a beat that sounds like this is beats per bar. One bar, one click, but it's going to be four beats, and the four beats is one, two, three, four. The first beat is the down beat, which is the bass drum. The second beat is the snare. Third beat is the bass drum. Fourth beat is the snare. So the one and three are the same, which is the down beat. The two and four are the same, which is the snare drum. So listen. Two, three, four, five, One, two, three, four. All right, so that's how a a four four time signature is going to sound, and and this is what we're going to be using. We're going to be using the four four uh, time signature for our beats. That means one, two, three, four. One, two, or like most songs that you hear are played uh, with that time signature four four. One, two, three, four. So let's just give it some context. This is how it sounds. On the drum beat. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. You hear it? One, two. Snare drum. One, two, three. All right. So if you've been playing music longer than a month, you probably understand that all right so i just wanted to lay that foundation all right so now when we talk about subdivisions this is where we're going places 
subdivisions is just what the word sound like a sub. It's just something within those beats. So a subdivision, there are many, a lot of subdivisions, but we're going to just tackle three of them. We're going to tackle the eighth note, the triplet note, and the sixteenth note. All right? And again, this lesson is geared to getting us to the sixteenth note. So I'm going to kind of fly by the, the eighth note and the triplet just to get to the 16th, but I'm not going to leave you hanging. All right, so I'm going to play the bass. I'm going to be in B flat. All right, so I'm going to just play the, the I'm going to go up the scale, down the scale, playing uh, just individual, just quarter notes. Quarter notes is at one, two, three, four. No subdivision or anything. I'm just playing bass drum. Snare one, two, three, four. All right, so let's go. Hold on, wrong at here. We go two, three, four. So that's one, two. You could just say that's the, and that's the temp in the tempo I'm using is 85 beats per minute on both. All right. So if I, if I were to do with the metronome, So that's how it is just hearing quarter notes already seven minutes. Now, a quarter notes is just you just playing the beat with on the beat, not adding anything else. But let's say we want to uh, have two play an eighth note. And an eighth note is just double of, which is uh, times two of four. It is just simple math. All right, so if a quarter note is just one, two, three, four, which is four notes, Play it in that bar before it repeats itself. That means an eighth note. When you see the eighth note, like the that sign with the with just the one little thing on the thing, that's an eighth note. Eighth note, you just double it. Four times two is eight. So each beat, for each upbeat and downbeat, you want to play two notes. So it's basically it's going to be one note in between the four. So it's like. One and two and three and four. So you got the regular four. And if you add all the ands, that's another four. It's called eight notes. All right. Just for the bar. All right. So let's hear with an eighth note sound like an eighth note. You're just adding one extra note to whatever beat, whether if it's a downbeat or upbeat that you're playing. It doesn't have to be like the whole bar. Okay. I'm going to show you what an eighth note sounds like. So listen up. Three, four, one, two, three. Listen to the eight. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. All right, so that's the eighth note. So if you wanted to do it, just a, like a a lesson, just keeping with that same beat, you could do two, two, three. So I'm going. I'm playing this rhythm. One, two, just. Just like I was doing with the quarter note, eighth note, I'm just doubling up. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right. So that's the eighth note. That's how eighth note sound. Uh uh uh. So double, 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 double. All right, now let's go to the triplet, which is three notes. It's the same, same concept, but we're doing three notes. 
All right. So listen up. So just say triple it. Triple it, 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 triple it. But listen, I'm going to play the quarter notes on top of this triplet to show you that even though it sounds faster, you're basically keying in onto the subdivision that it that's making it sound faster, but it still go back to the quarter notes. So can you, I hope, hopefully y'all starting uh, to see the difference of when you add the subdivisions, how the tempo can appear fast. The tempo is not fast, it's just you're adding something in. The track is not changing. It's just like when you swerve, it's filled, like you can swerve going 40 miles per hour, per hour, not per hour. You can, if, let's just say you're going 40 miles per hour. This is on cruise control. Let's just say you swerve, you're just swerving. It appears as though you're going faster, but you're not. You're just adding, you're just drawing, basically. You're just adding turns in that feels like it's going faster. But if you're on cruise control, you're going 40 miles an hour. It's just like if you can be going 40 miles an hour, but you're going up a hill. It may feel like you're going slower, but you're not going slower. You're just not on the straight and narrow, and the straight and narrow will represent your quarter notes. But if you go up a hill or down a hill, why are you on a hill dropping? Like, if you're just going, like, up an incline street or down a decline street or you're, you're turning and swerving, it feels faster. You're just doing more stuff than just staying on that straight road. So hopefully that analogy helped. Don't drive cars on hills. They're not paved. Okay, so now let's get where we're going to go. Let's get where we're getting to. 16th notes. 16th notes, you got your upbeat, your downbeat, your upbeat, and your downbeat. In between these four beats, I should have had a piece of paper, it's going to be three beats. So if you count the in between beats plus the beat uh, itself, it's four notes. So you're going to have. One, two, three, four. That's three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's going to be three extra notes total. All right, so three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's why they call it 16 note, because if you were to play a whole, a whole bar, four notes a piece, that'd be a 16th note. All right? And 16 notes are for every hit every or every beat, They that beat would get four notes in total. So I'm going to let you listen to it, then I'm going to play with it. Now that sounds like it's zooming. But remember, the, the tempo, can you see that? It's still at 85. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, watch. All right. The, it's the in-between notes, the subdivision notes that make the beat feel faster. Like this is the tempo. It's not, it's not going, you're just doing the extra notes. Now listen how I play the quarter notes. I mean the, the eighth, sixteenth note. Excuse me, sixteenth note is four notes per beat. So for the one, that's one beat. The two, the upbeat, downbeat, upbeat, downbeat. Those are four beats. Two, three, four. one, two, three, four. <laughs> And 
And what you can say for this, just listen to it. Alligator. Alligator, 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 alligator. All right? And that's a 16th note. And of course, you can go all the way up to a 16th note within a 16th note. So that would be like a, what's 16? It'd be like a 30. 30 seconds, so this is crazy. We're not going to do this. So that means within every beat, to go from the first beat to the second beat, playing us <coughs> 16, 16 notes per beat. So that would be this beat plus 15 notes, this beat plus 15. I ain't about that life. I don't think... So there's someone out there trying, but we're going to stay right here. All right. One, two, three. And now what I'm going to do is I'm, while this is playing, I'm going to give you a 16th note exercise you can do. It will help you with your dexterity of, and it will help you just to keep moving. Because with 16 note, you got to keep moving. So I'm going to do it, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Hard and I got I haven't been practicing that the way I should. All right, and I'm gonna actually do the lick on another on another video. All right, so what I'm doing just to I'm still keeping the time one, all right, but in between the hit notes. And I'm just going up the scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, octave, octave, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In between those, I'm adding the three extra notes. All right, I'm I'm doing sixteenth notes in between each hit note. The hit notes are the numbers in the major scale. What I just did: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, octave. Octave seven five so these are one. All right. So what I'm doing is, I'm just going up the scale. So one two three four. That's the first sixteenth pattern for the for the one. Like hit it on the one. That's the two. That's the three. That's the four. It's the one again. That's the two. That's the three. That's the four. So for the one, the sixteenth note pattern is one two three four. For the two, you're just going up the scale. It's two, three, four, five. For the three, three, four, five, six. For the four, and four as in the upbeat, downbeat, upbeat, downbeat. For the four is four, five, six, seven. For the five, five, six, seven, one. All right. Now for this, for the one, I'm going. One seven, I walk it back up once I get to the octave. One seven six five for the two, which is the second uh two. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Now I'm just going back up with the same pattern. So for the one, one, two, one, seven, six, five for the two. The second note going down. One, I mean seven, six, five for the three. For the three, which is the downbeat. Downbeat, six, five, four. For the four, six, five, four, three. I'm sorry, six, five, four, three. Then it's going to be five, four, three, two. 
then four, three, two, one. So I started one, two, three, four, and this is going to be eight bars. So we're just going to one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. All right, so it's going to be eight total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That eighth note is the octave, and the octave is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your hit note is the note that you're going to start on. So if I'm going one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So one, seven. So one, seven, six, five, four. All right. Then if you want to go all the way up, three, three, two, one. And you would that would be the five. If you wanted to end it on a one like that. But I usually just all right, like that, four notes. All right, so that was 21 minutes. So hopefully that was not complicated. And you could do that same pattern for triplets. So triple it, triple it. For a double two for an eighth note. Double, double, double. All right. So like that. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna come right back and I'm gonna do the lick that I said I was going to do for this one. It just this is already twenty two minutes. All right. Any questions? Any uh, concerns or anything that was unclear? Just hit me up. Let me know. All right. As always, continue to like, comment, crop, crop, cry and subscribe. Cry, like, comment and subscribe and share. Appreciate all the love and the feedback. It's your boy Ray J over and out.